I'm going to be going through five reasons why your drawings may not be looking as realistic as you want them to. I'm going to first go through these five mistakes and demonstrate them on this ice cream drawing. And then I'm going to be going through the techniques that I use to make my drawings more realistic. These reasons apply to any medium. So let's go through mistake number one, which is adding too many outlines. And this is probably my most important reason as adding outlines really does kill any realism that you have in your drawing. Because when you add outlines, you give your drawing more of a cartoony look and style. And I often find that beginners add outlines because they are trying to make their drawing look more defined and they really want it to stand out, but it just does the opposite and it just makes it look very flat and it does completely kill any realism. And if you think about objects and you look at different objects or people or animals, you'll see that they simply don't have outlines. So that would be my first thing to avoid when drawing realistically. Mistake number two is doing flat shading. And what I mean by this is shading in an area with just one value and not really considering where the shadows and the highlights are supposed to go. And shadows and highlights are so important because that is what adds depth to your drawing and gives it that three dimensional look, which is really important if you're going for a realistic style. So here you can see I'm just shading each area with one value and again it will give it that cartoony look and so that is the second thing that we want to avoid doing when drawing realistically. The third reason why your drawings may not look realistic is because you have harsh value changes. So if when you change value or color in your drawing, it's very clear where that start and stop point between the different values is, then it probably means that your changes are too harsh. In realism, you want every value change to be really nice and subtle and a gradual change. You want to have a nice transition there. And I'll talk you through my techniques for how I get gradual changes in a minute when I redraw the ice cream using my techniques. So now let's go through mistake number four and that is going to be rushing your drawing. So when you're doing a realistic style, it means that the drawing is naturally going to take a lot longer. And if you simply aren't putting in enough time that is needed to create a realistic drawing, then you won't be able to add in all of the details and pay enough attention to the different shadows and highlights that you need to create a realistic style. Also, I see a lot of people rushing through parts of their drawing that they don't think are as important. For example, with this drawing, I'm rushing through the background. I paid more time and attention with the ice cream, but I'm rushing through that background. And what that ends up doing is distracting away from the focal point and what you spent a lot of time on, and it detracts from the realism in the work. You really need to spend the same amount of time on every aspect of your drawing. And so finally, the fifth reason your drawings may not be looking realistic is that you are not adding any texture to the different surfaces of what you're drawing, or you may not be including enough detail. So with this ice cream drawing, there was a lot of texture to the wafer, to the ice cream cone. But in this drawing, I didn't add any of that texture. And you need to spend a bit more time focusing on the detail and the different textures in the reference in order to create a realistic drawing. So this ties into the fourth mistake of not spending enough time. And I think if you just spend a couple more hours on a drawing and really focused on all that detail, you would see a massive improvement in your drawing. So now I'm just gonna talk you through how I did create this realistic ice cream cone drawing and I made sure that when I approached this drawing that I gave every single aspect of the reference an equal amount of attention and importance. So I spent just as long building up this background and I do that with any drawing that I'm working on. I make sure that I really focus on perfecting the background just as much as I would put a lot of time into a face or the particular animal I'm drawing or the focal point. Because like I said, if one thing just doesn't look up to standard of the rest of the drawing, then it really can be a distraction and take your attention away from the aspect of the drawing that you put a lot of time and attention into. So that's the one thing that I really make sure that I do when I create a drawing. I make sure that I focus on each area with an equal amount of time. 
Also, I make sure that I shade nice and lightly so that I don't have harsh edges and harsh changes in values. To make sure that my changes are a bit more soft and subtle, I ease off the pressure as I want to transition away from a certain value. So you'll see that I do this a lot throughout the actual ice cream portion because I didn't want the shadows on the ice cream to be so harsh, especially because the rest of the ice cream is really light. So you'll start to see that I create lighter shading as I get towards the edges of those shadows. Another way that you can make sure that you get really nice soft shading and soft value changes is by using a blending sort of tool. I like to use either a brush or tissue or a blending stamp and you can use any of them. And by using a blending tool like this, it will really help to make sure that you're softening out those edges and it will make sure that you don't have any harsh value changes. So that is a great way that you can avoid making that mistake and that will not be a reason why your drawings aren't realistic anymore. So just by blending over any harsh edges that you have in your drawings, that will immediately make it look more realistic. Also, one thing that you will notice in my drawing is that I don't have harsh edges and any harsh edges that I do start to get, I blend out with something like a blending stump. So it's okay if you have done a bit of a harsh outline, just go in and blend it out and that will just take care of that problem. And like I said, doing outlines is one of the main reasons why drawing doesn't look realistic. So if you can just refrain from adding that extra sort of definition and going in and adding in an outline, it will really help to make it look more realistic because when you try and define something more with an outline, it may make it pop more but it won't add to the realism and it will give it more of a cartoony style. So here you can see that I'm building up more and more layers on the background. I really am spending a lot of time getting the background right and trying to make it nice and smooth. And that is another way that you can make your drawings look nice and realistic is by really taking the time to build up layers. This drawing definitely took me over four or five times longer than the other one because I'm paying so much more attention to the details and I'm building up layers. Another thing that I'm doing is I am building up those textures and details that we need to make it look realistic. I'm adding in the little bumps onto the wafer cone and I'm adding in lines and textures to the chocolate flake. Another way that I love to add in texture is by using an eraser and I like to use a stick eraser like this one because it's really small and it's great for adding in texture as well as highlights. Talking of highlights, you can see that my drawing hasn't got any flat shading. There is a lot of shadows and highlights in there and that really helps to make it look 3D and therefore give it depth and a realistic look. So make sure that you're paying attention to where the shadows and highlights are in your reference and you don't just go in and shade each area in with one specific value because there is a lot of value changes within each area and getting in your shadows and your highlights is going to give your drawing more contrast and that is what will make your drawing pop so adding outlines and trying to define each area is not going to make it stand out getting in more contrast and having a greater range in the values that you have within your drawing is what's going to make your drawing stand out as well as look realistic so I hope that those tips did help you out and you've figured out a bit more about why your drawing may not be looking as realistic as you want it to. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here and even tick that bell icon so you do get notified on my future videos. But that is it from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.